From News 19 and meteorologist Daniel Bonds, you can always follow me on these other social media sites, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and what was Twitter. Our time changes over the weekend. Daylight saving begins. Set your clocks up an hour before you go to bed on Saturday. Sunrise will be at 740. Sunset, 728. Sunday evening. Now, pollen levels will be dropping tomorrow because we do expect a good bit of rain, especially in the morning hours. Today, tree pollen pretty high. It's going to be a relatively dry day today, but late tonight, those rain chances will increase. St. Patrick's Day, nine days away. Spring, spring begins 11 days from today and Memorial Day, 80 days from today. Memorial Day, temperatures, at least on average, closer to about 86 degrees. That's certainly baseball weather. This evening, not bad for Longwood at South Carolina with temperatures in the mid 60s at first pitch, cloudy skies, a little bit of a breeze out of the east at about five to 10 miles per hour. Our records are safe for this year, 89, 21, trace of snow in 1957 and 2.34 inches of rain. Expect things to be relatively dry today. We did manage to make it up to 73 yesterday. On Wednesday, we had a record amount of rainfall, 2.68 inches. I say relatively dry because our latest run of our forecast model shows a few stray light, we'll say light showers out there. Wouldn't expect much in the way of measurable rainfall during the daylight hours today. But as we look ahead towards tonight, about 10 o'clock or so, those rain chances will increase. Notice the showers spreading across the Midlands and the Palmetto State. Heavy downpour certainly possible could have some flooding as well that appears to be a threat because the soils are already pretty saturated looking ahead towards saturday morning this is the mid-morning hours 10 o'clock a little bit of a break in the activity and then as we get into the afternoon hours there'll be a chance for some showers and maybe a few thunderstorms and some of these thunderstorms could be strong or even severe with the greatest threat for severe weather probably along and south of i-20 heavy rainfall still the concern anywhere from a half inch to maybe an inch and a half that according to our in-house forecast model. Weather prediction center is going anywhere from about two to three inches of rain. So regardless, it looks like we are gonna have some heavy downpours and the possibility for some flooding for Saturday morning. Good news in all this, we are drought free according to the drought monitor. Bad news is there is that threat for severe weather. Most of South Carolina under the slight risk, that's the second highest level. So two out of five, and that means scattered severe storms possible, short lived, not necessarily widespread, isolated in intensity. Hail's really not expected for tomorrow. We'll call it a low risk. Can't rule out the chance for some damaging wind gusts. And according to the Storm Prediction Center, at least that small chance for a tornado warning. Again, it really is highly dependent on how much warm air surges northward during the afternoon hours. Rain likely on Saturday, according to the European forecast model, or dry otherwise. American model, GFS, showing basically that same thing. Not the best Saturday at the beach with those showers and storms, but Sunday will be a little bit better. Lake forecast, basically the same thing, showers and storms. Storms during the afternoon, they were dry on Sunday. Temperatures do warm up next week. Should be a mainly dry week too, with highs in the mid to even upper 70s by Thursday. Coastal forecast, pretty good chance for rain on Saturday, mostly sunny on Sunday. And then as we kind of look ahead towards the forecast for the upstate showers this evening tonight rain tomorrow and then we're dry on sunday with a good bit of sunshine expecting near normal temperatures march 15th through march 21st but still wetter than normal conditions in our 8 to 14 day precipitation outlook